Hey everybody, welcome to Homer's Honeybee again. Today we're going to introduce a nuke into a hive and follow the progression as we uh, go through the season here. Uh, this year uh, the hive, the nuke, is going to be introduced a little later than what we'd normally like to see and put into a hive, but it will also show you that even with a later nuke, you can still get through the season. Um, so we're going to get going on that. Uh, obviously with the nuke, you're going to have five frames of bees uh, from various stages of food and different stages of brood from eggs to larvae and calf brood with the, with the queen laying. Um, so, when you get this, we're going to give them Probably don't really need to give them a little smoke, a lot of smoke, but we'll see how nice they are. We just drove them over here. I like to hit the bees in with the lid. As you introduce them into your hive, uh, depending on when you get them, uh, you want to Depending on how cold it is or how warm it is, if it's really cold, we want to make sure we keep that brood together. Um, and we like to uh, not spread the hive too far apart as far as food resources uh, resources go. Uh, because we are a little bit later in the season, it's warmer. Um, we're going to put the the food frames all the way to the edge of the hive on both sides and that way the bees have plenty of space to grow out their brood nest in between. Um, so as I look here I just want to kind of look for the queen, look to see what's going on in the hive. So actually the queen's on this outside frame. She's right here at the bottom. She's just walking around doing her thing. So just kind of be aware where she's at so we don't want to accidentally kill her or anything so she's going to be there we probably could move her to one of the other frames but she'll walk to them so my food on the outside now i have different stage i got cat brood some larva uh, you want to make sure you look for eggs you know make sure your queen's actually laying and doing what she should be doing Look for queen cell, uh, queen cells. Um, we don't want any surprises for this new introduced hive. We don't want them to swarm or anything. They shouldn't be swarming. If you see anything like that, knock them off. This isn't a quick, fast process. Don't feel like you need to be rushed. So kind of enjoy the process and, and look to see what they're doing. So we got cap brood, we got lots of, um, on the outside here we got all the pollen, and on the outside of the pollen we got all the honey. So this is a good looking frame, they're doing well. These bees are gonna kind of, probably kind of explode here in the next week or so, with all the hatch brood coming on. And again, this is another frame that has eggs, upcoming brood. This is full of just eggs and larvae. So I want to keep all the brood together so that they don't have to work extra hard uh, to keep it warm during the night. And this is just a food frame. So again, I'll put this one towards the outside against the feeder if you have one and then just fill in the extra space with empty frames there you go so that's the pretty simple make sure all the things get in there pretty straightforward up there, feeder. So they got some uh, resources to start building out that wax right away so that queen can lay some more eggs, get that brood nest growing. So you'll want to keep coming out here and just feeding this hive 
you know, at least once a week, just top them off. Uh, so they have plenty to grow. And then uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll probably just show their progression and then to see how far they've built out these frames. Because we've already added five established frames, it's not gonna take them very long before we're adding another box. So probably a couple weeks, maybe. Um, so we got the feeder filled up. We put our inner cover on. Face the top entrance up. And then this guy doesn't have an entrance. Oh, where's that? I, I don't see the entrance oh, reducer. Yeah. So probably because we're a little later in the season, I'm not too worried about them actually being robbed out because there's so much nectar and pollen for for other bees, so they're not scouting out wheat hives. So we'll, we'll, I'm okay we'll, with them just being all the way open. But we'll probably put it but in. We'll probably still put one in. <laughs> Forgot it. But it's nothing to be panicking, panicking about. Anyways, we'll check on them, see how they're doing, um, and follow us along as we see the progression of this move. Anyways, thanks for joining us.